This is a plant leaf harvested from a small organic garden that my housemate grows. It was harvested in mid-July 2016 near Albany, New York, USA. On it you can see what may be a dead aphid. Gardens make me sad because when people garden, they crush lots of bugs while walking and kneeling on the ground. In gardens you can also see the immense amounts of natural insect suffering that occur outside. It's a complex question whether organic or conventional farming causes less bug suffering. My tentative guess is that conventional farming is slightly better because organic farms may have more weeds and more insects, both on plants and in the soil. But the question deserves further exploration. Here's another harvested plant leaf. This is what also seems to be an aphid, and this one is still alive. Unfortunately, this aphid seems to only be able to use five legs when walking. The sixth leg looks like it's trapped by a silken thread attached to the abdomen. Using tiny scissors, I tried to poke through the thread to break it in order to free the aphid's leg, but this didn't succeed. The thread remained intact. According to Wikipedia, quote, many aphid species are monophagous, that is, they feed on only one plant species. Others, like the green peach aphid, feed on hundreds of plant species across many families. Aphids passively feed on sap of phloem vessels in plants, as do many of their fellow members of Hemiptera, such as scale insects and cicadas. Once a phloem vessel is punctured, the sap, which is under high pressure, is forced into the aphid's food canal. Occasionally, aphids also ingest xylem sap, which is a more dilute diet than phloem sap, as the concentrations of sugars and amino acids are 1% of those in the phloem. As xylem sap ingestion has been observed following a dehydration period, aphids are thought to consume xylem sap to replenish their water balance. The consumption of the dilute sap of xylem permitting aphids to rehydrate. However, recent data showed aphids consume more xylem sap than expected, and they notably do so when they are not dehydrated and when their fecundity decreases. This suggests aphids and potentially all the phloem sap feeding species of the order Hemiptera consume xylem sap for another reason than replenishing water balance. Xylem sap consumption may be related to osmoregulation. Some species of ants farm aphids, protecting them on the plants they eat, eating the honeydew the aphids release from the terminations of their alimentary canals. This is a mutualistic relationship. These dairying ants milk the aphids by stroking them with their antennae. Some aphid species have unusual and complex reproductive adaptations, while others have fairly simple reproduction. Adaptations include having both sexual and asexual reproduction, creation of eggs or live nymphs, and switches between woody and herbaceous types of host plants at different times of the year. Some aphids have telescoping generations, that is, the parthenogenetic viviparous female has a daughter within her who is already parthenogenetically producing her own daughter. Aphids probably appeared around 280 million years ago, in the early Permian period. The number of species was small, but increased considerably with the appearance of angiosperms 160 million years ago. Angiosperms allowed aphids to specialize. Aphids are soft-bodied and have a wide variety of insect predators. Aphids also are often infected by bacteria, viruses, and fungi. They are affected by the weather, such as precipitation, temperature, and wind. End quote. 